Yeah, well, I don't know. Let me check. With, hey, it's Rick Street. He wants to know if you got an eyebrow comb. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what these buttons I have are. no, I don't know. Oh, that one turns but, the camera on. Oh, hey, okay. it's promo time. Hi, we're Zach and Jim with the Waco 100 Morning Show. This week on 25 Hot Country Cafe, we're going to count down our 10 favorite videos of 1994. It's the hot videos, kind of like that one. Like that one. Yeah, that one That's a good one. You picked that one, didn't you? Oh, that one we played. We got that one. That one. That one. Pam Harris tells about country news from 94, and the sax man picks his favorite CDs. So all your favorite videos, our favorite videos from 1994, country music news, all that's coming up this week on 25 Hot, hot country, country Cafe. Cafe. Join us. 25 Hot Country Cafe's year-end special, brought to you in part by Waco Auto Imports and Triple D Western Wear. with the Waco 100 morning show. It's know. time for 25 Hot Country Cafe. Yeah, but I Cafe. can't figure out how to get the thing on the... Oh, there we go. There. That? Oh. oh, beam us up there. That's right, yeah. We're coming to you this week from NASA, the uh, control center. This is it. Uh, no, Either really. that or it's the nuclear uh, power plant that Homer Simpson works in. Well, it could uh, be. Sure. Actually, what it is, it's the uh, control room here at uh, Channel 25. Ah, oh, this is it. Master control. We have taken over the uh, control room. As a matter of fact, over. we're going to go out there and sit on the news desk here a little while and oh. pretend like we're giving the news. Can we tap dance on the news we desk? Do that. You ever done uh, weather before? Well, you know, probably be just as good as Ray's. <laughs> could be. Ray does a good job on the weather, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, we got our favorite videos for you this week. Our top ten. Yes, we do. Plus, we got great country news from Donnie Four and the Saxman picks his three favorite CDs that you might have missed, but you might want to buy them. What do you say we kick it off with number ten? This is number ten. It's the Tractors and Baby, Baby likes, likes to Rock, rock like, like a, a Boogie Woogie, woogie, woogie choo, choo Choo Train. Woo what happens if I push this button right here? I don't is it, know. Is it, is it, oh, see, there it is again. Look at that. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Rick Trevino, and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe. It's the big year in review top 10. Jim, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just playing here. I don't know what this stuff does here. I don't have any well, This idea. is so much fun. It is so much fun. You know fun. what? We should be in TV, not in radio. Well, uh, maybe not. You know, I bet you could do sports just as good as John Walleen. Yeah, well, I was thinking about, uh, thinking about that. Yeah. Well, we'll work on that. We've got some more great videos for you. This is our top ten favorite videos of 1994. Here's Tracy Lawrence in Renegades, Rebels, and Rogues. Number nine. Number eight in our top ten videos. It's Alabama and the Cheap Seats. Which is usually where we sit when we're watching a yeah, game. Play ball! Hot dogs. Play ball! <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Clay Walker and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. Hey, and while you're over there, can you order me a pizza or can you make flight reservations? Or? Oh, no, I'm playing Pong. Pong. Yeah, oh, one of my favorite games, games. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Speaking of videos, we got more of them. We're on our top ten favorite videos from 1994. We're down to, what, video seven now? Well, I don't know about you, but I think there was holding on that last play. I think so. Five-yard penalty, first down. First down. Right. Here's number seven. Vince Gill It's what the cowgirls do. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
here's our number six favorite video. It's Pam Tillis and Me Vida Loca. Which translates into my favorite number six video. This is it. If you're coming with me, you need nerves of steel. Hello, Domino's. Uh, yeah, like cheese pizza, please. Uh -huh. I'd like Rick Street to deliver that, please. I'm sorry, Rick Street doesn't deliver until after the newscast. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be fine. Oh, Jim, Jim. Oh. Oh, that really wasn't us. No, we're just Sorry, Rick. Fun. We didn't mean to do All that. All kinds of buttons and knobs mm -hmm. and switches to play with. It's the top ten videos, but hey, bears. stick around. Saxman oh, will have his favorite CDs coming up. 25 Hot Country Cafe, our year in review. 25 Hot Country Cafe, year in special. Brought to you in part by Shipley Donuts. George's Casual and Western Wear in Hillsboro, and Steve Palmer Homes. 25 Hot Country Cafe's Year End Special, brought to you in part by Waco Auto Imports and Triple D Western Wear. Hi, this is the Sax Man, Greg Sachs, afternoons 3 to 7 on Waco 100. Normally we check out a hot new country CD. Let's talk about the three biggest CDs, in my opinion, of 1994. My number three would be Clay Walker. His debut effort is an awesome one. If you don't have that one, get it in your collection. Number two would be another Beaumont boy, Mark Chestnut. Almost goodbye. Tons of traditional scattered hits on that one. And the number one would have to have my song of the year, The Man in Love With You. I'm talking about San Antonio boy George Strait, Easy Come, Easy Go. If you've got Clay, George, and Mark in your collection, you got the three hottest country CDs of 1994. According to the Sax Man, that's it for me, Greg Sax, and I'll see you soon. Here's a number five video on 25 Hot Country Cafe's Top Ten. It's Sandy Kershaw and Third Rate Romance. Cafe. Oh, they're hot. This man, Jimmy Johnson, could be this man, Jimmy Cody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of need little toys to play with. Yeah, you, you know, you could probably coach like he could. Oh, sure, I could. Yeah, you just need more hairspray. More hairspray and um, <laughs> more money. <laughs> That's it. Okay. We're going to get back to our countdown now. Number four, you couldn't have a top ten without Garth Brooks. Oh, it's standing outside the fire. Are we clear yet? Not yet, Ma. How about now? Not yet. You can still see us? All clear. Here's our number three video in our top ten. It's Tim McGraw and Don't Take the Girl. Take the boy instead. <laughs> <laughs> when he was eight years old. That's number three on our top ten favorite videos of 1994, Tim McGraw and Don't Take the Girl, as we make our way towards number one. Hey. Hey. Uh, what? I know it's an hour-long show. What? Oh, we yeah. Have a and we've gone over go. 30 minutes. That's right. <laughs> we've got the news, kind of a wrap-up of all the country news. Yeah, top stories of 94. Tim Harris has that coming up next. I'm Pam Harris. We want to take a look back at some of the biggest country music news of 1994. We all know country music is growing in America. In fact, there were more country music radio stations in America this year than any other format. There were more than 2,600 radio stations playing country music alone. Here's some country music news that made headlines this year. Back in April, Tracy Lawrence was arrested. He was accused of firing a revolver in the air and threatening two teams. They got the jams. 
We'll have some fun down the line. Gonna live forever if the good die young. Gonna live forever if the good die young. In May, John Barry underwent emergency brain surgery to remove a cyst from his brain. He was back on tour a month later. Also in May, Willie Nelson was picked up in Hewitt for possession of marijuana. I was tired. It was foggy and rainy, so I pulled over to rest a while on my way to Austin. These guys come by and saw me in the car. While looking in the vehicle, they observed what they thought to be a marijuana cigarette laying in the front ashtray. What do you think? Uh, you know, part of life. And in June, Winona announced that she will be expecting in January. Garth Brooks is having another record year as his No Fences album is tied with the soundtrack The Bodyguard as the biggest selling album of the 90s. He also took his tour to Europe where he drew the largest attendance in Dublin for any event since the Pope's visit back in 1979. Reba McIntyre also had a big year as she was named Billboard Music's Country Female Artist of the Year and Merle Haggard was inducted to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Some country music singers took on some controversial issues to sing about this year. Colin Ray sung about alcoholism in his song, Little Rock. Reba McIntyre took up the AIDS issue in her song, She Thinks His Name Was John. And Martina McBride's Independence Day dealt with the difficult issue of battered women. Other artists in the TV or movie spotlight include Billy Dean, Dwight Yoakam, and Dolly Parton. Central Texas saw a lot of country artists come to the area. Reba McIntyre, Clint Black, Pam Tillis, John Michael Montgomery, Steve Warner, Rick Trevino, Boy Howdy, Billy Dean, Doug Supernaw, and Chris Ledoux, just to name a few. And now what we've all been waiting for, the top 10 country music songs of the year, according to r and Magazine. Number 10, Wink by Neil McCoy. Ninth, Your Love Amazes Me with John Barry. Number eight, He Thinks He'll Keep Her, Mary Chapin Carpenter. Seventh, Colin Ray's Little Rock. Number six, I Can't Reach Her Anymore by Sammy Kershaw. And rounding out the top five, Travis Tritt, Foolish Pride. Every once in a while, Blackhawk. I'm holding my own Leroy Parnell. Trying to get over you, Vince Gill. And the number one hit last year, according to r, &R Magazine, I Swear by John Michael Montgomery. Like a shadow that's by your side, I'll be there. Those were just some of the country music stories of 1994. Now here's Zach and Jim's number two video of the year. It's also sung by the most played country music artist on radio this year, Clint Black, Untangling My Mind. I'm Susie Boggess, and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. Well, welcome back uh, to our top 10 favorite videos of 1994 on well, 25 Hot Country Cafe. We've come down to the big numero uno. This is it, the number one video. It's none other than the lovely, Here very it is, lovely. Arthur Fiedler and the Boston. No, no it's no, not. No, that's not it. Oh, okay. It's the very lovely and talented <laughs> Miss Reba. <laughs> Reba McIntyre. Why haven't I heard from you? Number one. Number one. There it is. Hey. hey. Twenty five Hot Country Cafe Year End Special brought to you in part by Shipley Donuts, George's Casual and Western Wear in Hillsboro, and Steve Palmer Homes. Hey, there it is, number one. Number one. Reba McIntyre, number why one. haven't I heard from you? Our, that's our top ten videos. That's, that's it. it. Hopefully you liked it. You know, if it was up to Ron Bunky and Tony Whitehead, we would have had Emmylou Harris and Wiley in the Wild Boxcar West. Boxcar Willie Boxcar. and stuff like that. So thank goodness that we got to pick them. Yes, and we hope you enjoyed the show. And as for next year, well, we hope we're back. <laughs> we hope we're back. Why don't you call the station and the TV station? Yeah, and tell say, them you uh, want to see Hot Country Cafe back on in 1995. Y'all have a happy, happy new year. Happy year. See ya. <laughs> So long, Bye -bye America. Now. Until next time. That's the news. I'm Dan Rather. You want to do the weather real quick? Yeah, yeah let's the do forecast that. right there. Oh, well, partly cloudy. Clear to partly cloudy. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now. Fortly. See, see you. Later.
Bye.